In this video, we'll be exploring the file button and know how to save the Excel file. At the top left corner, you can find the file button. It's like the control center of Excel. First, you will see the home, new and open menus which I already described in a previous video. In the info menu, we'll find the metadata and workbook protection related options. Now, let's talk about preserving our hard work. Click save to save our current file. If you didn't save your file already, then clicking on the save menu will take you to the save as action automatically. You can backup your file to OneDrive or you may save the file to your local PC. Click on the browse option and the save as dialog box will appear. Here you can choose your desired location to save the file. Here you can set the file name. Different file extensions are available in the save as type drop down menu. The default saving type is the Excel workbook which got the file extension .xlsx. The .xlsm extension is for the macro enabled workbook which contains VBA code inside it. Besides, you can save the file in CSV, XML, PDF or XPX document and so on. Then click on the save button. If you want to make a copy with a different name, use save as. It's like making a backup for your file. Want a physical copy? Click on print. You will get various settings related to printing here. You can change page orientation, margin, page size, etc. And when it's time to collaborate with others, hit the share option. You will be asked to upload the workbook to your OneDrive account. Then select the permissions at the people with whom you want to share the file. Click on send and the person will receive the workbook link via email. With the export option, you can save a copy of your file with different available formats. In the publish menu, you can transfer your data to Power BI. It's a great tool for rich visual reports and powerful dynamic dashboards. With the close option, your file will be closed for this time. Alright, here's a fun task for you. Comment below with one thing you discovered in the file menu that you didn't know before watching this video. That's it for this tutorial. Bye!